Hello, hello, friends. Just want to share some breaking news with you that Lyft is closing down their operations in California. This is huge impact for you as a restaurant, for you as a customer, and that's the reason why I'm sharing this news with you. If you guys are not aware, a few weeks ago, a California judge actually imposed the policy to recategorize all gig workers, which includes delivery drivers into employees. This policy is really targeted at companies like Uber, Lyft, and all the third-party delivery apps such as Postmates and DoorDash. And that's the reason why we need to pay attention to this. If you guys are not aware, the full reason why they want to be able to recategorize these gig workers into employees is to help them with their working conditions, such as giving them sick leave, uh, giving them benefits, overtime, insurance, and of course, earning guarantees. Now, of course, COVID is really the catalyst that really pushed this policy forward as a lot of people are suffering. But this doesn't really help with the whole economy to make it a little bit more efficient. On the contrary, it actually has a lot more bad effects, detrimental effects to the economy, um, such as the fact that these third party apps like Lyft, Ubers, if they're not making enough money, or actually they have been losing billions of dollars every single year. And since now that they have to change the, their gig workers into employees, they have to pay for additional fees. And what that means is that they you were basically forcing them out of business or they need to impose and actually transfer some of these costs for us as a restauranteur, for us as a gig worker or for us as a consumer. And that's the reason why restaurants would suffer from their already like 20 to 30% commission. Possibly that rate would increase because of the added cost for these third party apps. Customers are going to suffer because as the cost of delivery rises, so does the cost of goods sold, so does the retail, so everything increases and customers are not going to be happy seeing a rate increase. Now that doesn't really help the gig workers as there's more and more people actually um, being forced out of driving uh, as their own career. So all in all, it's not a good thing that people, uh, that the California judge is imposing this law. Definitely check out this video right here as I explain a little bit more into this. Now for the sake of this specific video, we're talking about the, in response to this policy, what is um, the, the big guys doing? What are Uber doing? What is Lyft doing? And what are the basically the response to this policy? So let's dive right in guys. All these companies right off the bat, they're, appeal, they're applying for an appeal. They have 10 days to apply for the appeal. So no one really knows what's really going on. And to 10 days is coming up very, very soon. As a response to this, Uber is trying to be a little bit more creative with their approach and considering licensing their brand to operators of vehicle fleets. So in that way, they don't need to pay the, these fleet um, members uh, any sick leave or any cost of the benefit. So they're trying this thing out. They don't know if it's going to be viable in California, but they have actually been successfully doing this in Germany and Spain. So we'll definitely check up and see if this is a viable solution for these apps. Now, Lyft, on the other hand, they're a lot more aggressive with their approach. They're like, you know what, since you're imposing this law and there's nothing much I can do about it to make sure that I actually um, uh, abide to these laws uh, and, and policies, they have confirmed their suspensions of operations on Thursday night, which is tonight, August 20th, 2020, across the whole California. So no one really knows how this really impacts the industry but we all know for one thing is the fact that no one is really winning from this policy because like i said if lyft suspends their operation you're wiping out a whole chunk of people who really depend on driving to make that extra buck for their family and now we don't even have that opportunity at the end of the day capitalism really makes the whole world and economy a lot more efficient and as government imposes more laws and policy it just makes things a lot less efficient so i really don't know what to say i just think that in this time we should definitely support each other as much as we can but nonetheless i'll definitely keep you guys up to date with this news because like i said it's going to affect the restaurant owners. It's going to affect customers and also the gig workers. So if you guys want to make sure that um, you guys follow, subscribe along the journey as I continue to bring to you the latest news on this matter. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode.